I am so happy to have my next guest join us. Her brand new album is out right now. It's called Subject to Change. Caitlin Tarver. Hello. He is in the, in the 2D flesh. In the 2D flesh. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. I am so happy to see you again virtually. I, I thought we might have been doing this in person because there were some tour dates that you had lined up. <laughs> Rubbing salt in the wound. You know, you were one of the first people I thought of when we got locked down and shows were on pause and things like that, because you were on a roll. You were talking about new music. You had released a few things. And then I felt like you were one of those people on those Zoom happy hours, collaborating with your famous friends and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. How, how much of that was taking place during the first six months? So many. I mean, I, um, yeah, I definitely, I mean, so hard now. I feel like everyone's obviously everyone's life was upended in so many ways and, um, everyone's tours got canceled. Everything got pushed. So I'm definitely not unique, but yeah, I did have some momentum. I was rolling out some new music I was excited about. And, um, yeah, I just kind of took that energy and started going live on Instagram every day. <laughs> which was not really like a set plan. Um, but as I started doing it, I, I found that I enjoyed, you know, kind of the consistency of it and the ability to have conversations with people. And so I did it every day for like two months at the beginning of quarantine. Um, and it was really fun. I, I met a lot of new artists because, you know, eventually my friends, the, my circle of friends, I ran through them fast. I was like, okay, now I have to maybe reach out to some strangers that I haven't met and see if they're willing to come talk to me. And, and a lot of people were. So it, it ended up becoming a, a cool way to kind of meet new artists and other writers. And um, I ended up talking to some authors. Like, I don't know, I just kind of, uh, I really like talking to people and meeting new people. So it was, um, it was fun for me. I kind of miss it. That's so interesting. So many people have said that they reverted back to their introverted selves in, in some form or another. Instead, right. you reached out to randos. Online. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I am not really, I'm not really a homebody. I um, enjoy being out. Um, I kind of like being around my friends. I like having conversations about life. So yeah, for me, like, I feel like there were a lot of like memes going around early pandemic that were like, check in on your extroverted friends. Like they're not doing well. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, no, nope, I'm not, I'm struggling. <laughs> but that's cool. At least you were able to get beyond your circle. And yeah. I don't even, I, you know, I should have done my homework. Did you get on TikTok? Or are you dancing? Are you telling stories? Luckily I was able to avoid TikTok dances for the most part. Um, I was tempted, but um, I've done a lot of like, duets with a lot of um big time rush tiktoks which are which have been pretty fun um because i find that a, there's like a big i feel like there's a big like nostalgia moment on tiktok so at this point big time rush is nostalgic for people so um i like to go on and kind of see like a lot of people make funny tiktoks about kendall and joe like the tv couple from from big time rush and i like to duet those um, which is fun. I've done some story storytelling things on TikTok, but I um, I need to kind of up my game, I feel. But at least you're leaning into the nostalgia aspect of it. And gosh, does that make you feel old or what? And, uh, yeah. before, I, before I even get there, uh, happy belated birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Fellow, fellow Scorpio, your birthday is literally a week before mine. Mine no was way. literally uh, yesterday, but uh, oh my this filming. Look at us. Scorpios unite. Scorpios unite. Yes. Um, yes, thank you. I did just have a birthday. And yes, I do feel old. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to tell that to a girl, but hey. Hey, hey, you know, at this point, I've accepted it. And I'm kind of trying to just lean in to being in my early 30s. You know, I hear they're great. So um, I'm just trying to get excited about it because I can't really do much about it. You just turned 32. How did you feel when you turned 30? 30 was tough. I mean, yeah, like I feel like this kind of acceptance of, of getting older is recent. Um, being, being in your late 20s, early 30s is interesting because it's like 
enough time has passed for people to have made a lot of life decisions, whether that's making a lot of big life decisions or lack of making a, a lot of big life decisions. Like some people are married. Some people have a kid. Some people have multiple kids. Some people are divorced. Some people are um, not even close to thinking about getting married. And soon after I turned 30, the pandemic hit. Um, so it was very much like uh, that, that on top of kind of this milestone birthday, um, was the inspiration for a lot of what the album's about. <laughs> so, you know, you can take a listen to the tracks and see where a lot of my mental, where my head was at. <laughs> so I mean, that that's kind of the crux of all these questions because yeah. I hear so much of this yes. in, in the music. I mean, yes. every single track, I'm like, yep, I understand that. I understand that. And it's like, hey, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> I'm old. Yeah. Yeah. We're old. It's fine. Um, yeah, a lot of angst, a lot of existential questions, a lot of, um, just reevaluating and looking at life and being like, what, what do I believe? What do I want? Where am I going? You know, all those kind of questions that you have to, um, ask yourself at one point or another. You're certainly doing a lot of soul searching. Yes. In a way, <laughs> right? In this album, especially with the title, right? Subject to change. Exactly. Yeah. Everything that is on this album can be totally thrown away. You could think differently when you're 34. Exactly. And that's, and that's what I'm getting at with the album. That's what I'm getting at with the title, with like what I'm saying. And, and it's sort of, I don't know. It's not really a cop out. I mean, I'm, I have opinions and beliefs that I'm sharing in these songs, but like, I don't, I want people to just see it as a snapshot of a moment in time where I was doing a lot of soul searching and questions and I'm going to continue to do that. And like I said, in a few years, I might make another album and be like, oh, uh, I don't know if I believe that way anymore. And that's okay. And um, that's okay because you'll still be under 50. I'll still be under 50. So you don't need to listen to me for another 20 years. Exactly. Take it with a grain of salt. Be like, eh, <laughs> Kayla doesn't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> but you are taking a stand in certain regards with Nicer. You are making observations with just very direct songwriting. Let's just put it out there, right? All our friends are splitting up. <laughs> yeah, from yeah. a perspective of someone in a relationship being married for so long. How do you perceive your, your marriage and, and your relationships from your family as kind of the pillars and helping you guide, navigate these experiences yeah um you know i got married young and i think you know and, and all our friends are splitting up I'm, I'm kind of musing on that idea of like when you get married young and, and speaking for myself um i had this idea of like oh like we're good we're happy like we're in love it's always gonna be this way and you know i, I think i was like we're gonna be able to to weather the storms and I know it's not going to be easy. Um, and so, you know, I had a sense that it's not just rainbows and butterflies, but I think the idea that when you get married early in your early twenties, and I think no matter where you get married or decide to commit yourself to another person, there will be challenges that you don't know. But I think the challenge with being young and married and kind of growing up together is you're still finding out who you are and you're also linked to this other person who's also finding out who they are. So like inevitably you're going to hit a point where you're like, whoa, we're really different people now than we were two, three, four, five years ago. What do we do with that? Like, how do we navigate like becoming, you know, finding our sense of individuality while also uh, being in this relationship that's meant to, um, you know, you're, you have to also put a lot of work and time and care into that. So again, like I have no advice. I have no relationship advice. I have, I think it's so um, individual to each person and, and to each relationship. We're all so different and bring so much baggage to, to everything. And so I don't know, at the end of the day, like I feel super lucky to be with uh, a partner who encourages me to um make you know write songs that maybe he's like 
Oh, um, that's fun to have that out there uh, for the world <laughs> to hear. Um, but he encourages that with me. And, um, you know, it's really nice. It's really special to uh, have someone um, that I have grown up alongside and I have changed with and I've watched him change. And there is something really, really special about that. I think this is a great album, especially for this time, as we're getting out of this period where everybody has been to themselves or had their little circle, yeah. quarantine bubble, whatever you want right. to call it, right? Your pod. Your pod. And now we, we've done the self-examination. Right. We're not going to be so nice anymore. We're going to yeah. tell it like it is. Yeah. We're the old people. Tell me what I need to know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, exactly. No, I, I hope it can be that for people. That's exactly that's exactly what I hope it can be for people. So so yeah, that's that's great to hear. Thank you. Well, congratulations on this album. Like I said, it's been a long time coming and Thank I you. think it's fantastic. Really appreciate the time. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you having me and thanks so much for all the love and the support and the kind words. It really means a lot.